Hey guys, it's May Phoenix from Phoenix TV. Today we're going to do an unboxing of seven puzzles. The Windmill Fisher, Windmill Fisher, uh, Wind Mirror as they call it. I don't want to, right, just turn it on. Uh, the Moyu Fisher Skewed, the Six Spots, uh, Chi Cube, I don't know, like what the hell this is. Some random Kung Fu Cube. A Sheng Shao 6x6 Master Morphics, the GAN 356 Air Pro, and the brand new, or not brand new, was, even though it was only released, like it was probably released a month ago, but anyway, the MGC 6x6. Uh, let's probably start it off with this one since this one's kind of the closest being open because it's, yeah. Ow. Okay, you've got a picture of Nathan Wilson, another Aussie guy. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is bright shades. And... Yeah, it turns okay. I don't know how they, I don't know how Nathan made this in the first place and how Moe teamed up with them to make this. But this is actually pretty like confusing because like <laughs> oh boy this is weird yeah yeah i'm gonna do a quick solve right now and then we might as well go into the next puzzle and while i'm saying that i might as well explain on terms oh, are you kidding me <laughs> so turning so far this is actually pretty like i say okay um but for a puzzle like, normally for a puzzle like this, it's kind of just like normal, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm so close to being solved. Here. There you go, I've solved it before in the Speedcube uh, store. Speedcube.com.au, go buy your puzzles there. Uh, next puzzle, well, might as well do this random one. Um, La Long Yuan. Kung Fu. I'm just going to call it the Kung Fu Long You Want now. Uh, kind of looks like similar to a Moyu Almond, to be honest. I did not get this from the Speaker Book on the website. It actually doesn't turn that bad, but it's pretty loud out of the box. Yeah, pretty loud. I don't know if that's just because of how it's tensioned, even though this feels nice, to be honest. Or it's just, yeah. I'll just do a quick solve on it. So if I turn on the, oh, if I turn on the timer. Yep, okay, it's working. Is there any issues with it? No. I honestly do not care how I scramble it up, okay? Oh, <laughs> sub 10 fail, god damn it. Um, see, I would say it's okay. I don't really need to break it in though, to be honest. Yeah. It is okay, I might as well just leave it in my cube collection, in my cube collection because why not? But yeah, yeah let me put the unbox cubes right here for now. Let's see. Next cube, let's do the six spots. Instruction sheet, box, who cares about that? Well, oh, right off the bat, this is pretty heavy to be honest. Way heavier than this and this is obviously lighter than that. Um, <laughs> first hands. It's okay. It, it's not meant to be like a speed cube like you would expect. It's similar to like the Ivy Cube, which I also have um, in my collection right now. Uh, yeah. I am. Um, the noob of ivy cubes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's got a gloss, not gloss, a matte texture, which makes it feel weird, to be honest. And, um, it's got like, it's kind of got like dark shades, to be honest, compared to the other Moyu puzzle. It's got like a darker, I don't know if it's is this one or this one that has a darker tone, but darker tone, but yeah. I guess it is what it is. Next puzzle. Anyway, uh, next puzzle, let's do this one. The YJ Fisher Windmill 
mirror cube. Pretty long name, but who cares? All right, but it is greasy. I need to fix this. Actually, no, the stickers peel off because of my fabric on the, on the shirt. Oh, oh man, it feels worse now that it did that. Okay, first turns. It's actually pretty good. Man, oh god, this is gonna be a pain once I scramble this. Massive pain. Because like, you're not gonna, you're gonna barely tell like if it's salt or not. Um, like if I just do a T, if I just do a T perm here, let me do it backwards. If you do a T perm backwards, it just looks, it just looks salt. But if you look closely, the lines on it are, like partially it's not salt. So it's kind of a better angle if you do it like this, because um, well, like you, you can see if it's different or not. But then once you do the T perm, I'm going very slow. It just automatically solves it. Cool puzzle. Uh, next, we're probably going to do the Garn Air Pro again. Air Pro, whatever. I don't know how you call it. Okay, we have the classic GS nuts. <laughs> okay, seriously, what on earth is that face? <laughs> like, like, what is that? Please help me. <laughs> that made sense. The classic GS nuts. Um. Oh, they have the same tensions as the um the Gen X. Okay, interesting. And it also comes stuck with the yellow. I've noticed. Uh, it's got a massive booklet, which isn't helpful for me. And another thing, which isn't helpful for me either. Anyway, let's open this up. It's got bright shades, which I love on the Garn puzzles. Uh, compared to my 357, it's just not that great shades now. Anyway, first turns. That's actually really good for a non-magnetic cube. Okay. Okay, it's actually not that bad. I could definitely speed solve with this. And maybe I could, like, break it in. It could be... I could like get the same averages as on my main. Just kidding, that won't actually happen. Can I do it back then? I was trying to do like four solo and I'll skip, but yeah, that didn't really work out. It's got the same like primary internals as the um the Air SM. I don't know if you could see that, but get a close-up look. Uh, now I'm gonna do a scramble and then like do a solve on it. Okay. Oh, that was so awful. 19, I'm gonna do one more quick set because that was just ridiculous. That's better. Okay, that's not a plus two, that's good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably not mess around with the, uh, just, oh, and I forgot to tell the name before. Where's the thing here? The Gan 356 Air Pro, the numeral IPG. Apparently that's what it's called on the, cubicle.com website. Oh uh, yeah, this is actually pretty good. Next, I'm gonna put this over to the side. I'm gonna do the same soon. Oh God, there goes a booklet. <laughs> yeah, I've got it back. The same so uh, Japanese thing. <laughs> they just call it the 606 Mass Morvix. Obviously it's in these um, bags again, which is annoying. This is the 6x6 version, and obviously you're going to add the matte texture to it because everyone just loves it now. Oh wow, this is smooth. Oh, the inner layer is a bit weird though, to be honest. If I were to um, ever like... To be honest, if I were to ever... Like, why can't they just um, produce the 7x7 with this as well? Like. It just goes to show how like broken the um like the mate the products are now. Like like it's normally the um the even layer before the odd layer. Or the odd layer before the even layer, sorry. Um 
And now products assigned to actually, like Sheng Shao and um, Mi Long, are assigned to produce some um, 12x12s and 14x14s. And yeah, right off the bat, Adam layers are pretty good. It's very, it's a bit weird though, but what do you expect for a 6x6 Master Morphix? For me, I would say really stiff. Analyze, it's a bit like bumpy. It's a weird like feeling whenever you like, if you turn fast, you'll like, you try to go hard, but like sometimes it's like stopping you and keeps on go makes you keep on going and then stops you and then makes you keep on going. It's like a continuous repeat of um, randomness. I'm not gonna do a scrambler yet, but I do know how to solve a five by five and I feel like it would be no different to a six by six. Last puzzle we have, move this out of the way so you guys can see. The MGC 6x6. Now, I've heard, oh wow, that was very like peaceful. Um, Now that I've heard that with the uh, MGC 6x6, it's pretty much one of the best ones. Uh, Zach Amaritis, <laughs> Zach Amaritis, no, it's Zach Amaritis, okay? Sorry to you if I <laughs> pronounced your name wrong on purpose, last name wrong on purpose, but I'll just, yeah, he owns an MGC 6x6 that he won from LHQ's um, uh, giveaway that he did with um, like, what is the un unknown, unknown, unknown um, WCA event, such as like if it was 2x3 or Pyraminx cube, etc. And yeah, he won he came first and won this. And right away with this accessories box, um, it's got. I don't know who that is, I bet you that's Yu Shang though. Doesn't even look like him though, I don't know why I said that. Extra magnets, uh, springs, if I want to change the spring setting, which I probably won't need to. Uh, instructions, and a screwdriver, interesting. I've got a new screwdriver now. And here's the actual cube. And I, I like the, um, like, on the inner, on the um, Adelaide, it's got like a little, like, I don't know, it's like got a gap in between, that makes it look cool to be honest. First turns. Holy cow! Okay, yes, this is definitely better than my X-Man Shadow. If you get my X-Man Shadow, this thing is like... Now that I've turned this, this thing feels trash compared to my X-Man Shadow to be honest. Like, my X-Man Shadow is so sluggish. It, like, it constantly locks up. This thing just, like, it just barely locks up. Although it does lock up a bit, but I can get through that easily. That is insane. I would probably get a sub-3 straight away on this. That would be interesting if I got it on this. But I'm going to do scramble and then a quick solve and then we'll end off the video. Or I can tell you, like, how... Actually, no, I'm just gonna end the video off after this. Sorry that I have to disappoint you like that. Okay. That should be good enough scramble. I'm gonna, like, speed it up. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, I definitely will get a sub three, but are you crazy? I shouldn't have done like the wrist turns at the end for the D2 on the paper, but yeah, this is definitely really good. And I'll be able to use it for Melbourne Summer tomorrow, which I will be happy with. And those are all the kids I got. Let's put them all together right here and on and out. Oh, that sounds weird. Um, so you have the Moyu Fisher Cube, the random, I would say Moyu Aolong knockoff, the 6x6 Master Morphix, the MFJS Fisher Windmill Mirror Cube, the Gantt Classics Air Pro, this thing is awesome, the uh, 6 Spots Chi Cube, and the MGC 6x6. And that is all we have. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And 
Peace out.